Making things worse. You can see the smoke almost unbearable in the Gatlinburg area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, local news reporter Kyle Granger at the Overlook with another perspective. You're almost right on top of where Marco is standing, but it looks about the same there. Yeah, it's really smoky here, and guys, we have breaking news right now. You mentioned that things are getting worse. We have information about a brand new fire, a spot fire reported inside the park here tonight. Uh, Dana Sowen is, we're going we're gonna to make through this as best we can. This is the kind of stuff that's blowing around out here, by the way. This just blew by, and uh, I'll let that go because we need to talk about this new fire. Uh, Dana Sowen from the National Park is with us here, and Dana, this new fire you mentioned, where is this threat now? It's another spot fire that's coming. Coming off of that first original fire on the Chimney Tops Trail area. And the spot fire has been located above Elkmont near one of our old backcountry campsites 21. And uh, we still are dealing with that spot fire that came off of the Chimney Tops Trail fire at the Twin Creeks area. And so our crews are out there. We've been joined now by forces from the community, Tennessee Division of Forestry, our neighbors in the Gatlinburg Fire Department, and crews from seven counties are now providing engine support. So we've got over 100 personnel that are out here standing by now and doing everything they can to protect our neighboring communities. The fire has not yet crossed the boundary of the National Park. So we're still watching for that, but obviously a lot of people live outside of the park or visiting in this area. The question is, am, am I safe? Am I okay? Or do they listen to like local officials in Gatlinburg who have asked for those voluntary evacuations? Yeah, I mean, these winds that we're experiencing now, we've had gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. They're predicting that we could even have them in the 60 to 70 mile range. That one that just came by and about blew us over mm -hmm. was certainly one of those powerful gusts that makes this fire behavior very erratic and unpredictable. And that's why we've, you, we've reported earlier that embers were flying around and potentially could have created some more of these spot fires. That's correct. So we, we know that original fire off of the Chimney Tops Trail had blown up to over 500 acres just overnight. And so now what these windy conditions can bring until that rain comes in is very unpredictable. All right, Dana Sowen, thank you very much. Again, another spot fire reported inside the park right now, still within the park boundary. She says she's going to update us again at 7 o'clock tonight on the latest. Reporting live in Gatlinburg, Kyle Granger, Local 8 News. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. The wind is what is